Hey guys, you got a bleach rack? Well, stay tuned to get it back to its original glory. Yeah. What is happening? Holy son of a gun, that's a big one. Hey guys, welcome to G Outdoors. As you can see, we're kind of outdoors and um, we have a giant rack here, giant 40 inch moose rack. And as you can see, it's a bit sun bleach. It needs some love. It definitely needs some love and we're gonna restore it to its former glory. We're back here from uh, turkey hunting and close out lunchtime. So we have the rest of the day to fool around and try some stuff we watch some videos and today we're gonna show you how to restore it we're gonna do one side so we'll have a perfect comparison for you guys don't mind the turkey tail like I said we're back from a turkey hunt if you guys didn't check it out yet check it up in our playlist so what we'll need for the video any black spray paint as you can see here it's anti-rust spray paint doesn't really matter a paintbrush steel wool we got some burnt umber oil paint and we got over here some paint thinner that's basically all you'll need and the rack obviously so let's get right to it starting off with the spray paint time to spray paint guys make sure you shake the can really well and you want to give a really light coat and this is just to wherever you see the veins on the rack you're gonna see after once we finish it's to give some texture and you'll see a really tie in I know it sounds crazy to paint the rack black just trust me on this one so you just give a quick motions keep in mind this is all gonna come out except for in the groove and you don't want it perfect you just want to give it a quick shot have you ever seen a rack a black moose rack before i have it it's such a beautiful day so we're gonna actually move it in the sun to try getting it to harden because then we'll go to the next step which is the steel wool one hour later all right guys so you want to make sure that paint is dry to the touch like completely dry it's been a while so it's perfect this is where you take out your steel wool and now basically everything you did you want to come and take it off almost so not everything but you're you're basically gonna start and just just start scrubbing it and keep going and you'll see it'll stay in the grooves you want it to look like that wash finish as you can see i have the steel wool here and i have a steel brush also i i got to see in some of the hard to reach places you want to get it as white as possible and what's going to be nice is wherever there's all those veins and stuff that's where it's gonna really show in the next steps later that make it look actually like a real antler don't be scared to ask for help so marco was here helping me out we're gonna keep scrubbing at it get it as white as possible look at this fly oh no it's a nub <laughs> you'll know you're pretty much done when you see a lot of the white if you want it lighter the rack sand more and scrub more with the, the steel wool you could take out a sand block and really start sanding because you want those accents of the veins to come out we're gonna try it like this because we want the rack to be a bit darker so once you're like that, we pass just a damp cloth just to make sure there's no dust because or else the paint won't stick. And now we're gonna go and grab this burnt umber. Burnt umber. You're gonna take this first, you're gonna put it in a jar and then you're gonna add some paint in there to uh, make it more liquidy so it's easier to spread. Start with small amounts. You wanna get it to a liquid consistency. Like that looks, it's a still a bit too thick but we're gonna add more so we'll, cause it's a big rack. All right, that looks perfect. There's no clumps. So we're gonna start putting it on. Just spread it out, tap it like that so it goes into all the, the grooves. It'll lighten a bit. And the more co coats you put, the darker it gets. Here we did both sides, guys. What I noticed is you don't wanna put too much. You wanna spread it, once you put it, spread it as much as possible. And wherever you see darker spots, we did choose a darker color because we wanted a dark rack. There's a lot of pines in our area, but you could come with a cloth and you just come tap it. You see, you could take out some, and if you don't like it, just come back and watch over here. You just could recolor it. See how easy that was? So you could really go customize it how you want and you come back and now it's still wet as it's drying it's starting to go through and 
that's it. We, I didn't want to put too, too much, but wherever you see it's too dark, just come with a pot softly and you could come actually go in between the, the grooves and stuff. So it's pretty cool. But you're going to see the black that we did. All the veins are really, really dark. So that's what we were looking for with a bit lighter. And a moose's rack on the outside is always darker than a bit on the inside. So because it gets sun, you know, gets more sun exposure, obviously. And the inside gets scraped and rubbed and all that stuff. But pretty cool. Just a warning, guys, if you're screaming, the kids are out playing. <laughs> They're far from us, don't worry. So here we got some ultra cover, two times the coverage, gloss. Ah! Hey, You're hey, gonna hear hey, screaming hey, like hey. that. Sorry, Marco. No, 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 it's okay. No, sorry, guys. All right, guys, we're at the clear coat stage. Non-yellowing, super fast drying and non-yellowing, super important in the non-yellowing part. Once you're happy with the color that you, you want and you chose and to go with, this is the last step. So once you do this, it's final. So make sure you're happy with the color. Holy smokes, it shows Marco close this. Wow, what a hole. Oh, it's out. The next day. All right, guys, so here it is. It's all done. It's the next day, clearly. If you want a lighter color, you could always go with a lighter uh, oil paint and the sanding of the black. The more you do the sanding, the more you take out, the better, the lighter it'll become. But we wanted a nice chocolate rack. And as you could see, it looks phenomenal. It gave it back life as if it was just found. As you can see, the color came out really nice and there's that, those white accents. There's some of the darker in the veinage and uh, the tips like we took out with the rag a bit more. So even with that, don't forget with the rag, you could take out a bit to make it look, you don't want it to look perfect all one color. There's no such thing as a perfect rack, right? So uh, it's a, it's, it, it came out really phenomenal. If you do have cracks and stuff in the rack, what you could do before, you could put a bit of wood filler, make it dry, sand it off, and then start the process. But this is a really cool and easy way, really inexpensive also, to get the your racks looking amazing again. Like if you leave it outside, there's been sun bleach or it's some sheds that you found, you could always resort to doing it this way. If you have any questions, write it down below. We'll be happy to answer them. And don't forget to always like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.